what is going on YouTube today I'm excited for this video because I'm trying something I've never tried before I've been aware that this place is around me for a bit of time because I went inside of it one time for something and I never got food from them and I just forgot and then I remembered but I just realized 24 hours so I got myself some African food so obviously you guys can probably guess when I say African food what I got I got myself some jollof rice with chicken yes so i'm excited about that i've never had it before never like seen it with my own two eyes before so we're gonna try it here for the first time so this is it right here you see the rice there with like three pieces of chicken now i will say one thing or i'll say two things first the customer service in this place was really nice like they're really nice all of them said bye to me when i left that's the first time i've ever been somewhere where everyone said bye to me there's only three people in there so that's one thing but two, this was $20. I don't personally, from looking at it, think this is like $20, but we'll see by the taste. But before we get started, remember to like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment down below if anyone trying to talk about. I'm down to that, so let's check out the timestamp description. So let's go here. First bite, we'll just try it with just the rice. This is gonna be messy. Don't mind if it falls everywhere. I just want you guys to see. So first bite here. Hmm. I like that. You know what I promise? It's kind of hard for me to explain what it tastes like. I guess it definitely has a flavor. I don't know how jollof rice is made. Maybe it's like made like in a sauce, kind of like soy, like fried rice. It has like soy sauce and other sauces in it. It's like fried. Maybe this is the same way. It's very good. My only problem with it, maybe it tastes a bit old. It's not like the warmest. And also, it's it might be a bit old. I don't know. But it's pretty good. We're going to try a piece of chicken here. I had the choice between chicken, shrimp, and turkey, I think is what it was. But I chose chicken. Let's try that again. That was the toughest piece of chicken I've ever had in my life. I don't know. Well, you're gonna have to give me a second. Because this is the toughest piece of chicken I've ever had in my life. Not only that, it's very dry. So it's gonna take me some time to chew, I, I, I promise you. The sauce around it is nice. But it's really tough. Is it supposed to be tough like this, the chicken? It's actually kind of annoying me how tough this is. Like, this also isn't the warmest either. Um, you can break off a piece. It's actually pretty good. It's a big if though, because I'm not particularly fond of this right now. Not that it doesn't taste good, but like, I'm be honest, I don't want to challenge while I'm eating. Like, I don't want to be sitting there like playing tug of war with the meat, like trying to like rip it off and stuff like that. Like, shake my head like I'm like like I'm like Arr. I'm not the biggest fan of that, unfortunately. I'm getting all stuck in my teeth and stuff like that. Try some more rice here. We should put some of the sauce that was on this chicken onto the rice. I thought they were really good. 
And I'm kind of regretting getting the chicken. Maybe I should have got like a shrimp or turkey. Mmm. Maybe not the turkey because turkey is already dry as it is, but maybe the shrimp. The more I eat this rice, the more I like it. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hmm. We're done. We're gonna struggle with another piece of chicken, but before that, how was your guys' day today? I wasn't too bad. Went to work. Once the Jimmy came home. And now I'm doing this. But you know what I did yesterday? Dun dun dun. I seen Aquaman. Mmm. Well. This one doesn't seem like it's as tough as the last one, so that's good. But I see a new Aquaman. I did not see the first Aquaman, but I just wanted to go see this Aquaman because why not? I don't know if it's mandatory for me to know what happened in the first movie, but this movie is so boring. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think I'm actually considering just not watching superhero movies anymore because they all recently have just been so bad. Like so remarkably bad where it's just like I go to it. And I'm like, I'm bored. Like I want to be on my phone. Like it's a waste of time. Like the acting is bad. The CGI is bad. Why is Patrick Wilson his younger brother when Patrick Wilson is like almost a decade older than him? Patrick Wilson looks older than him. The fighting is bad. I don't understand how these people are superheroes and have all these crazy abilities, but they spend their time just throwing hands all the time, like all the time. He uses powers to control aquatic life once in the movie. And it's just to blow up a ship. Basically a quick summary of the movie is that like Aquaman has a kid, this guy whose dad he killed in the last movie finds like a trident and this trident was used by like a previous king of like a, an aquatic city and he wants to be resurrected, you know, very cliche. And they have to stop him. Stakes did not seem high. Not care about the characters. Acting wasn't that great. The sound wasn't that great. The CGI, like I said, I'm just repeating myself, was that great. I don't really have too many good things to say about the movie. It was funny sometimes at some points. Kinda. The most entertaining thing in the movie was that there's people behind me in the theater doing explicit stuff. And it's just like, why are you doing this in this theater? And the crazy part is, they weren't even in the movie the whole time. So it was just my friend and I in the movie the whole time. And then I just we just hear breathing. I looked at him and I'm just like, do you hear that? Is that a part of the movie? And then I think he's like, I don't think so. So he looks back and then I look back and I see these guys doing, I don't even want to explain it. I know I'm not monetized or anything like that, but you know, just to be safe. I don't even want to explain it, but I'm pretty sure you can imagine what they're doing. Like on a 10 out of 10 scale for like explicitness, they're probably doing like a seven or a six. So a little bit more beyond kissing in the theater. And I think they noticed us and then they left. So they came into the theater just to do that. Why don't you go to a different theater or like go home? Absolutely insane. I don't understand, but yeah. Movie, I don't know. Uh, uh. No. Aside from rice and everything going everywhere, it's really good. I'm gonna vacuum everywhere after this because I think it's just going right for it. Yeah, movie's definitely down there with like Ant Man and the Marvels, honestly. Like, I'll probably give the movie like a four out of 10. I don't wanna talk about it anymore because that's how much like it disappointed me. You're crazy. Because I don't have any expectations for it, so how did it disappoint me? Hope that one day a really good superhero movie comes out that isn't like spider-man like you know the animated ones i have really high hopes for deadpool deadpool better be a good movie what's coming out in like october november so far it's not even really like a review 
or the movie, this video, it's just more me telling you I didn't like the movie for like very short reasons because I don't have much to say about it, to be honest with you. We're gonna take the last bite here because I finished the chicken. As tough as it was, I finished the chicken and I wanna sit here for the next like 10 minutes and just eat rice. So, follow by here. It was good. I forgot, I didn't even say the name of the place. The place called Nija House, I think is what it's called. But yeah, that was jollof rice with chicken from Nija House. Uh, wasn't too bad. I give the chicken like, I feel like I want to rate it separately because rice is like a solid seven out of 10. I can't give it any more than that because it's just rice. Like even though like the rice is pretty good, it's very like flat, right? It's just rice. But as far as rice goes, it's pretty good. And then the chicken, the chicken's like a four out of 10 because I can't even eat it properly. Like I've struggled to eat it. I'm like biting into it and like trying to gnaw it off. Like I, I don't like that. The sauce is pretty good. But other than that, like the experience of eating it wasn't that great. Also, the fact that this was like 20 bucks just really made me upset. But they're really nice. So it's pretty cool. Um, I'll probably give the whole meal itself like a five and a half out of 10. Yeah. But with that being said, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if anything you want to try and anything you want to talk about. I'm down to do that. So I'll check out the suggested videos in the side. But yeah, Aquaman wasn't a great movie. I really didn't enjoy it. Really boring. I don't know how Amber Heard was still in the movie. I think they gave her also just minimal roles. Or maybe they didn't care. Or maybe the movie was already done by the time the trial was done. I don't know. I don't know. I was just wondering that. But it's whatever. So thank you for watching. Nigel nice House. Jollof Rice. 5.5 out of 10. Aquaman. Like 4. 3 out of 10. I don't know, go see if you want it and go try this if you want it. If anyone else has some suggestions of like places that have African food that isn't like this place somewhere else, I'm down to go try it. Or if they have like another dish, I'll just go there and try it. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, thank you for watching. First true review. Peace.